वेलकम टू द बिग डेटा शो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस व्हाट इज अपाचे काफ का आई हैव हॉल्ड द मेनी डिफिनेशंस ऑफ दिस फ्रॉम डिफरेंट डेटा इंजीनियर्स समवन से इट इज अ मैसेजिंग क्यू समवन से इट इज अ पॉप सब मॉडल बट अकॉर्डिंग टू मी द मोस्ट एक्यूरेट डेफिनेशंस ऑफ अपाचे काफ का इज अपाचे काफ का इज एन इवेंट स्ट्रीमिंग प्लेटफॉर्म्स which is used to collect store and process real time data streams at a scale in data engineering apache kafka is actually used in two of the use cases predominantly use the first is as pop up messaging systems and another one is real time stream processing this third use case which is used but less used in a data engineering domain which is distributed logging so we will focus on the two major things the so in first where it act as a pop up messaging queue in data engineering world there will be always some producers or you might act as a producers who will produce the data to the kafka okay you will produce the data to the kafka topics in a append mode okay and there will be some consumer applications like spark structure streaming apache flink which will read from your apache kafka where you are storing the data from some duration of times you can even store the data for infinite duration of times but because of the cost and economical things considerations in data engineering space usually the data in kafka is a store for short duration of times so in this particular use case it act as a messaging queue and the second use case is the real time streaming frameworks just like apache spark structure streaming and apache flink kafka provide kafka streams and kafka connect we using that you can actually process the streams of real time data some idea like what is apache kafka so in a very simple term apache kafka is an event streaming platform but you will tell me ankur well and good it is an event streaming platform but what is an event let's first define the event so event is something which has happened in the past let me give you very simple example and let me try making you understand cool so let's suppose you have gone to school reunion party okay but some of your friends were not able to go to the reunion party and you decided to click the pictures of different events okay and as your mobile which is which you are using to take the picture is synced with google photos so those who don't know about google photos google photo is the applications which can store your data in a real time fashion like it will sync your data from your mobile to your google uh, photos space so here every photo that you are taking will act as an event for example if you are taking a photo of someone eating a cake that capture will be one event someone playing guitar will be called as an other, another event so event is something which is happened in the past you will keep taking the photo and that photo will be synced to google photos so here you will act as a producer and that all the events will be stored to the google photos where you can imagine google photos just like your kafka which can store your data for some duration of times or infinite number of infinite amount of times then some of your friends will be very active on their mobile so whenever you will be taking the photo and and with every capture it will be uploaded to google photos so some friends who are active very active on mobile 
they will start consuming it or start watching your photos but there can be other friends who might not be very very active right on mobiles so they might come later point of time and then they will consume the photo or watch the photo okay or react then they will react on that photo so here this is a classic layman example of how does kafka works in a data engineering space a person who is taking the photo will started acting as publishers or producers and every event every capture every image became one event and it is being synced to one database one transient database which is google photos same like that producers or publishers sends the data to kafka actually into kafka topics to make in a very brief terms what is kafka topics it is nothing but log of an events in a append mode okay and we will understand what is kafka topic but for now just understand that it, google photos has lot of space out of that you might create different albums right you will create albums for cake cuttings you will create albums for dancing and then you can sync your data so that cake cutting album one might be considered as topic one and dance will be considered as another topic two or topic b okay so you will keep sending the data to that particular topic or that particular kafka or that particular google photos and if you observe that when your friends who were who were not able to visit the school reunion party when they are consuming the moments through google photos data is actually not getting lost from google photos right one of your friends is acting as a consumer and like enjoying the moments from google photos then data is not getting lost after some moment of time after some time when some other friends will come then also data will keep on present on in the google photos this is exactly same thing which happens in apache kafka i hope you understood in apache kafka the data is actually stored in disk okay and i will make you understand why apache kafka is actually faster because in disk instead of doing random access they they do sequential access let's no not go deep into that but just understand that kafka will store the data in a disk just like your google photos it will be stored somewhere in the cloud right in some machines in some disk well and good i hope now you understand what is in kafka so apache kafka is an event streaming platform and in data engineering space it is predominantly used as pubsub messaging queue or real time streaming platforms okay then we have understood what is an event so what is an event event is something which happened in the past right same like your capture you your photo and what is an event streaming event streaming is the whole process of trans like traveling this event let's try understanding in a technical terms okay let's start from our first presentations so here i have written what is an apache kafka and i have written apache kafka is an event streaming platform i hope you are revising it it is used to collect store and process real time data streams at a scale well and good now we have understood that it is it is used in a pubsub messaging and real time streaming process then i made you understood by one example of taking a picture and what is an event well and good perfect so if you can read it it is snap sort of something specific that happened at certain times okay so if you want to make it more technical so a capture will have some states right and some one time stamps so same way in kafka an event is the combination of notifications plus a state okay and generally the state of events are generally small okay you don't send very large amount of data most of the times in a kafka event okay cool or kafka messages it is actually stores in a form of bytes but there is a classic concept of serialization and deserialization you can serialize it in a form of json protobox or even avro 
okay so a state is serialized in some usually a standard format in kafka event has certain or some data some data models like it will be stored in a form of key and value now your questions will be ankur what is a key and what is a value many have this confusions or notions that key in kafka is actually primary is just like a primary key of table but it is actually it is not a primary key but just for understanding purpose you can treat this as a uuid unique identifier which can help you to track your events in the kafka okay then you have the value so i've just given one classic example of a event in a kafka okay so it consists of an event right it consists of a key and then it consists of the value so if you can see this key it is a one of the uuid which is unique for this particular event then in the value we can store any states of that particular things like i have stored the data for a student like a student id 334 name is equal to ankur ankur is equal to army schools something like that so if you try to uh, like replicate this these things or try to imagine from this particular example so here when the this particular data instead of sending to google photos if you want to send this data to uh, apache kafka then there will be some key and in the value you will stores the informations like uh, you might convert your image in the base 64 then you will have the base 64 images a uh, base 64 address you will have the image id or something like that right then you can have the description of the image so this becomes one one of your events i hope now you you got what is an event in kafka apache kafka now let's try to again see technically what is an event streaming so event streaming is the practice of capturing data in real time from event sources sources like sensors databases apis right so in event streaming there will be someone some there will be always some source which will send the data and how it will send the data it will send in the form of streams of event right so this can be a one event where the one of your event like e1 then it can be appended to e2 e3 e3 e4 e5 and e6 sometimes in tech more technical terms these events are called messages in apache kafka and if you can see it there is one order in when i am writing this it has because i am writing it in the in this way you will understand that you can actually order the messages in apache kafka within the partition of one topic you will understand but for now just remember this line cool so now we have also discussed in our previous uh, video that apache kafka is different from the traditional messaging queue because it can store your data for durable amount of time like 3 days 1 hour 7 days or even 1 year and you can even store the data for infinite amount of time there is no constraint on that but mostly people will store the data for some durations like 3 hours 3 days 7 days and why do we store this data durably for multiple reason the first reason is later retrieval like your one of the consumer can act as a real time it will consume the data from your kafka particularly from kafka topic in a real time fashion but there might be another consumer which can retrieve this messages from retrieve the messages or events from kafka in a later point of time so that's why we want to store the data for a durable amount of time so first reason is later uh, retrievals we can we do use for manipulating it for processing it and reacting to the events so these are the reasons for storing the data for a, du a durable amount of time so if you can read this line in which is written in a very technical terms event streamings ensures a continuous flow and interpretations of data so that right information is at the right place at the right time i hope you now you are now getting what is an event and what is an event stream and i have given one very good example of google photos perfect now now you will say ankur apache kafka is an event streaming platform you told us you explained us we believed but 
what does it actually mean so kafka combine three capability which ensure that it becomes a even streaming platform the first one is to publish which in layman terms can be called as write and subscribe which in layman terms can be called as read streams of data including continuous import export of data from other systems that is the first things which make it suitable for event streaming platform what is the thing that to publish and to subscribe or to read or write of event of streams to the second is apache kafka stores the streams of event durably and reliably for as long you want okay the third thing is to process streams of event as they occur or later point of time so it can be act as messaging queue where you can store the data for certain duration of time even using there is one thing of call kafka streams and kafka connect which can act just like your apache spark structure streaming framework or even like your apache flink framework which can help in processing of streams of event and all these things like first is to write and read second is to store and third is to process this all things combined help kafka to be coined as event streaming platform which is the most correct definitions of apache kafka i hope now you have got that what is an apache kafka in a brief way then you have understood what is an apache what is an event in apache kafka and then we have tried to understood what is an event streaming let's come into and meet in the next video and let's try to go more deeper with more example and more code for understanding these things mm -hmm.